So it occurred to me that, uh, you know, with the new year, um, I know we're, we're still in January, but uh, I kind of wanted to make my predictions for um, 2022. But I wanted to start with uh, one of my favorite movies. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It was made, I think, in 1980. Uh, it was Flash Gordon. And by the way, I, I, I was trying to watch it again because I just enjoyed the movie so much, and they they're making you pay for a 1980 movie because <laughs> I subscribed to Amazon Prime and Netflix and I'm like, what the hell? I mean, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's the, some sort of Hollywood thing. They got rights to the movie or whatever. But my favorite quote from the movie was when Emperor Ming, the merciless of the planet Mongo, he says, what new plaything can you offer me today? The planet Earth. Will you destroy this earth? Later. I like to play with things a while before annihilation. Those pathetic earthlings, who can save them? You know, it was more or less, that's, that's kind of the quote. Who can save you now was, was actually the quote. But I mean, it, it was just, it was so cute. You know, what new plaything can you, it, it just seems like that just a, a statement about today's times. <laughs> Biden must be up there going, what new plaything can you offer me today? Oh, let's destroy the United States, you know. Uh, will you destroy this earth? Yeah, you know, for sure. All right, so my predictions for 2022. All right, will we see skyrocketing inflation, Hype, perhaps hyperinflation, as the authoritarian Democrats spend more currency that they do not have from taxes? This will have the greatest impact on the average American that we have seen in history. The Democrats will continue to try to raise taxes. The exodus from Democrat states will continue. Australia and Canada are lost. They're, they're communist nations at this point um, because they have no Second Amendment. And uh, that's, that's, that's my point of this prediction is you know, we have to protect that Second Amendment at all costs. I mean, that's, that's our only salvation at this point. Um, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, we'll get on to the next one here. We will see crime like we have never seen it before, especially in the authoritarian Democrat-controlled cities across the nation. Murder rates will vastly outnumber deaths from the CCP virus. And, uh, you know, I say that um, because the Omicron, uh, it's not really uh, killing anybody. I mean, from what I can tell. Uh, at least on the news, I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't work in a hospital or anything. Um, but, uh, but I do see the news on, on the murder rates in uh, Chicago and New York City and uh, um, Seattle, uh, Minneapolis, I mean, uh, Los Angeles, I mean, you name it, man. I mean, I, I tell you, that's, um, so that's, that's why I, I make that prediction. I just think that, that that's going to continue. And, and let's not even mention the homelessness, you know. Um, so the next prediction. With all the criminals and terrorists pouring across our southern border, we will see a major terrorist in incident. Now, we've already got uh, the Taliban. They said they've got 15 suicide bombers ready to pull the trigger here in the United States because we got an open border because the Democrats are all for that. They want that open border. Um, so, you know, all it takes is them to pull the trigger and boom, you know, 15 bombs go off. Now imagine that, you know, all around the nation. Uh, and then Iran has already said they've already sent uh, 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 hit squads across the uh, border. And who knows what else is poured across that border. So uh, what, what is the uh, purpose of all of this? I think that the Democrats want some major incidents so they can declare martial law. Uh, and my prediction now, my prediction now is that there will, will not be a 2022 election. Because they're going to use all these terrorist incidents and, you know, catastrophic things happening across the nation to basically declare martial law, say that we need, you know, we need to, to, to find out what's going on, even though they caused it, right? And, uh, and that way uh, they'll, they'll keep the, um, uh, the voters and the Republicans out of Congress. Um, no way the Democrats will relinquish power. I mean, we've already seen them try to change the voting laws. They've already tried to uh, eliminate the filibuster. Um, you know, and, and like I said, and we've got the Iraq and the Taliban. All right. So next prediction, we will see a stock market crash beyond anything we could have imagined. Now, we've already we've already started in that process. Uh, the stock market's going down. Um, 
But I, I just don't think you understand the magnitude of what's coming. I think it'll be a 50 to 80 percent wiping out of many people's savings. Um, that that whole uh, melt up and it was all the Federal Reserve was just funding the whole doggone thing. It was it wasn't uh, you know the free market that was uh, investing in these companies. I mean the, the the Federal Reserve was buying up the junk bonds and everything else. Well, it, guess what? That sometimes the gravy train comes to an end, and uh, so um, I, and that's going to wipe out many people's savings. Uh, you know, especially in these retirement communities. I. I don't think they're prepared for it the way I did. I bought assets, and um, well, we'll see. You know, I've, I've got very limited cash, which is bad because when my wife moved out of the house, now I need cash to to, to pay her off uh, because of um, what her attorney wants uh, in, in in divorce. So let's let's get to the next one. The real estate market will crash as interest rates rise. Expect your house to be worth 50% or less of what it is now. I could have refinanced my house. Let's, well, this is just an example, okay? So in December of 2021, I could have refinanced this house for 2.35%, and I tried to do so. Um, they said my debt-to-asset ratio was too high, and they were going to put me in a VA loan, and it was going to be a 6% origination fee. And I just said, you know, look, let me investigate other alternatives, and that didn't work out. Guess what the interest rate is now? Guess what it is now? We're just in January of 2022. It's 3.35%. Imagine that. And, uh, you know, what people don't understand is that's based on the 10-year treasury. And so what has the 10-year treasury done in the last month? It's gone from 1.4% to 1.8%. Okay. So you, you make of that what you will. I'm just, I'm just quoting the numbers here, you know, data, data, data. Okay. The supply chain will continue to deteriorate, resulting in more empty shelves. This will also continue to fuel inflation uh, beyond, well, in the, I, this is pretty cool. I mean, if that's beyond the, the damage the Democrats have done with their irresponsible spending spree. So, you know, the Democrats got that infrastructure bill through. We spent another, what, 1.8? I mean, these are astronomical numbers. I mean, what, what are people thinking about? I mean, you spent 1.8 trillion, and then, of course, they wanted the Build Back Better plan which was going to spend another $5 trillion. I mean, what do you think happens when you spend money that you don't, I mean money, I, I shouldn't call it money, currency, okay, counterfeit currency. is When you spend counterfeit currency that you don't have and you don't have the taxes to cover, you're going to have inflation. I don't, I don't see where people don't correlate the two, but, you know, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I'm, whatever. Uh, luckily, uh, um you know, a lot of people say the Build Back Better bill is dead. I don't think so. I think the good Democrats, uh, those insane people, uh, especially Nancy Pelosi, are going to continue to fight for it. And who knows what might happen? I mean, maybe uh, the the two Democrats, um, uh, Manichin and uh, uh, whatever the woman is and from Arizona, she, they might cave in. You know, you never know. And of course, Romney might join on with the Democrats. He's he's not a Republican. That's that's a rhino right there. And I'm sure there's other rhinos that might join in. So you know what. We might be facing even more catastrophic inflation as a result of the spending spree that's going on in Washington, D.C. So let's get to the next one. We will see precious metals really take off in 2022. Now, I'm predicting $50 silver and 3,000 or more gold, platinum and palladium will continue to rise. So as a result of inflation, you know, the prices in gold, silver, platinum, well, and not palladium, okay, have been artificially uh, lowered. But the supply is coming to an end. Um, a lot of people caught on to that. Uh, a lot of people bought up the silver. Companies uh, need silver for solar panels and everything. I, I think the whole uh, uh, Ponzi scheme is coming to an end. And we'll see. We'll see if I'm right. You know, these are my predictions. Uh, I, I'll, I'll make a, I'll make a, you know, in December of 2022, I'll make another video and... Uh, you know, we'll see where I'm right. All right, we will see the end of the dollar as the world reserve currency in 2022. This will be devastating as we continue to try import to import our goods from China. So, you know, a lot of people don't understand. I mean, the dollar is devaluing uh, as we print, print, print more currency. And uh, so I think this is the year that we're going to see the end of the dollar. Um, you know, the the whole central banking system around the world, uh, the International Monetary Fund, they're going to they're replace the dollar. 
And that's just going to wipe out the United States. Um, you know, I, boy, I tell you, it kind of sounds like a downer, doesn't it? All right, let's get to the next one. <clears throat> we will see Russia invade Ukraine, and the U.S. will do nothing but pretend meaningless sanctions actually mean something to the Chinese. Biden administration will continue to talk about meaningless sanctions uh, that mean nothing to Putin. So what, what I'm saying here is that, it, well, NATO, NATO doesn't care. So Ukraine is basically now part of Russia. Um, and, of course, you know, the next one, uh, Taiwan is going to be part of, of China. Already Hong Kong is. We did nothing about that. So, you know, make of that what you will. You know, I guess... Uh, Everybody seems okay with that, especially the Democrats. The Democrats are okay with all of that. You know, the U.S. military is okay with all of that. Of course, you got that uh, traitor, Milley. I keep calling him that. Uh, he's up there. All right, so gas prices will hit $6 a gallon across the nation. Now, in, in California, from what I understand, they're already at $8 a gallon. Um, I'm here in Florida. We're only seeing about three twenty-five to three fifty dollars a gallon. Um, but what I'm saying is you're going to see $6 across the nation and that's going to be devastating. I mean, how the trucker is going to run at $6 a gallon. And, uh, and the reason for that, uh, what, I mean, this just blows my mind. Democrats, once again, how can you not understand that if you take down the Keystone pipeline, you destroy the fracking industry, you end all oil exploration and you lean on the, the oil companies that your gas prices aren't going to go up. Am I missing something here? I mean, I, I mean, are these people just delusional or something? I mean, I don't know. You know, you tell me. I leave a comment below. Okay, car prices will continue to soar as supply chain issues and demand diminishes. Now, I've made videos about various car lots that I've visited. Um, there's no cars. There's no cars anymore. Um, you know, and uh, hell, I bought my Toyota Prius Prime for twenty nine thousand, and right now it's selling for fifty thousand. That was just back in June. So in less than a year, the price of my car has gone up by, what, 25000 or so? So, you know, you tell me. Am I missing something here? I don't know. I, okay, the last one here, and uh, it, it's, it's, it's probably the biggest on my mind. Biden and the CDC and that idiot Fauci will continue to try to divide the nation on vaccine status, which is meaningless at this point. You understand that everybody who's gotten the vaccine, as, well, if you, there's a study out of Israel right now, they've, they've gotten the, the, the vaccine plus the booster to the booster, and everybody's getting sick. So, <laughs> so what do you make of that? So are those the unvaccinated, you know, uh, hurting the vaccinated? No, you know, the point of a vaccine is, okay, let's, 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 let's just go back in history. Okay, smallpox, which was... That vaccine prevented the disease, okay? So once you were vaccinated, you couldn't get the disease. So if somebody didn't get vaccinated and they got smallpox, you could take care of them. You could bring them into the hospital and you could take care of them because you weren't going to get smallpox, okay? That's the point, you know? It, now, the person that didn't get the vaccine, they, you know, they're in a world of hurt for sure. But the person that's got the vaccine, they're, they're totally immune. So, I, whatever. I guess I'm missing a lot of things. So, I guess the final conclusion here is the CCP virus will continue to spread until herd immunity makes it meaningless. Okay, so, uh, well, until the next variant. Uh, but I don't think that's, you know, I think the Omicron is sent by God uh, to end this this political nightmare that uh, that they've made out of the, the, the stupid virus. Um, so anyway, I always try to conclude my videos with a, a talk about the future. So I've got the new settings on the GoPro. We talked about that. Here's my compass. I got my sunglasses. Here's the bear spray. There's the backpack down there. So I'm kind of still staging stuff. I got a merino wool uh, long sleeve shirt back here, um, you know, in case I, I do get lost. Uh, so we're heading up to the uh, Yearling Trail. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I, I can't wait to get there. Uh, but we got I got bad weather for the next couple of days. So I'm just chilling out at the house here and uh, working on things, doing laundry. Um, so peace out. Stay free. Uh, let's do the mantra. 
It's good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no jab requirements, and we are free. Oh, and no lockdowns. I always forget that. And we are free to come and do as we please. And if you are an authoritarian Democrat, move to California, move to New York, move to Illinois, move to Washington State, you know, but get the hell out of Florida. Don't even vote here. Get, you know, get the hell out of Texas, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina. That's, that's all I got to say. That's the new mantra. Authoritarian Democrat, you know, because I, you know, I, I've offended a lot of Democrats on the channel and I just uh, don't want to group them all into that category. But uh, at the same time, why are you still a Democrat? I don't understand it.